guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen. If you'd like to go follow me there, I'm currently doing 100 days of makeup. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this look, I'm just going to throw it out there now that I recently did a collab with my friend Max. You guys can go check out the video of me doing this makeup look. We both hit one year of YouTube, so we collabed together and created our very first makeup looks that we ever did on our channel. This is mine. So yeah, I'll have my video linked up here. After you watch mine, you guys can click over to hers. I would really appreciate it and give us some love. All right, so today I have a haul. This is a very collective haul because I have bought stuff here and there. And I wasn't going to sit down and film it just yet because I do have my eyes on a few other products. And I know I have not done Will I Buy It or purchase or pass or a video like that in a long time. Do you guys miss those type of videos or do you feel like they're too repetitive? I thought that if I didn't do those videos, I would continue just to show you guys some hauls here and there of stuff that I got. But sometimes I'll just buy a few things and I feel like it's kind of pointless to sit down and do a whole video on them. This video might not even be that long because there's not like a whole bunch of stuff here, but I've purchased from Ulta a few times and I believe one other place, so we'll get to that. Okay, first off, let me show you guys this because you guys will be like, oh, we've seen this already. I bought the new Tarte Tardis Pro Glow and Blush Palette. So this was my first Ulta purchase, and this is the beautiful palette here. I first showed you guys this palette in my Living Coral Pantone inspired makeup look for the color of the year. I will have it linked above, but this is where I kind of did a first impressions on it and told you guys what I thought about it and all of that. It's a very beautiful palette, and you guys know I'm obsessed with their regular Pro Glow palette, so I was so excited that they came out with this. I had to jump on there and buy this. And while I was at it, it was the end of the year. I believe when I ordered and I got it at the very beginning of this year, so again, this is like a month ago, I bought this from Philosophy off there because it is a value of $22 and then it was on sale for $15 for the holidays. But since it was past the holiday time, they had these marked down, I think, to $7. So I went ahead and grabbed one because I had never tried out their shower jellies before. I really like them. I haven't even asked my husband what he thinks of them, but we have the white one in the shower right now. And he really likes, I know he likes the scent of it a lot. And I'm about to put one of these other ones in there for me. They smell like holiday, so I'm like a little bummed that I didn't get them around the holiday time. But I literally didn't see them until afterwards. But since they were on sale, I thought might as well buy them. But yeah, they're just like little shower jellies and they're like little snowflakes. So they are very holiday themed, but they smell really good and they're nice shower gels. Thought I would show you guys that. Besides that, with that purchase, I did buy the new L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and uh, my uploads are all over the place right now. You guys might not believe me, but I have been filming like crazy the past month of January. I filmed so much. I have filmed every single look from my 100 days of makeup plus other extra videos. So there is a few different videos where I mentioned this concealer and I cannot even think off the top of my head which ones that is or if they're even uploaded. So you guys might see this in future videos, but I think I mentioned this concealer and my red sultry Valentine's Day look. With this purchase, they were doing one of their promo things of if you buy like a certain amount, you got a bag full of free stuff. And there is so much stuff in here. I was actually pretty shocked about it. I did get some perfume samples. I'm just gonna kind of run through this, otherwise we're gonna be here forever. But some different like little perfume samples in here. There is a sample from Go Smile. It's a stain eraser for your teeth. It says that it's good for coffee, wine, and tea stains. I drink all three of those, so <laughs> I probably do need this. We have in here a little Moonlight Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops. Moonlight is actually my favorite out of the bunch, but I do have some. I need to make sure they're not like 
dry it up or anything, but I may put this in a giveaway, which I know I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. One is coming very soon. I'm super excited about it. It's been way too long, and I know that I need to be doing so many more giveaways. Time just literally slips away for me. There's also a little sample from Note. This is their Skin Perfecting Illuminating or Illuminator Healthy Glow Photo Ready. So I don't know if this is just like a illuminating moisturizer. I'm thinking that's what it is. I don't think this is like a primer, but it's just a little sample of that. There's also a sample of Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder in here, which is a pretty good size. Um, some shampoo and conditioner and also their Nourishing Moisture Oil Treatment. And this is from Macadamia Professionals. A lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade St. Tropez. Go ahead and get this out. I honestly haven't really looked at any of this, which is sad because I ordered this, like I said, over a month ago. Ooh, it has like some like glitter, not really glitter, more like shimmer reflex to it. That's really pretty. I'm not like too big on lip gloss though, but that shade is really pretty. A little sheet for Amazonian clay blush. In the shade Exposed. I think I have that one. Um, there is this Vanilla Blossom Gentle Wash from Sweet Spot Labs. I think this is one of those, yeah, this is their, this is a pH balance gynecologist recommended. Made for your sweet spot, great for your whole body. So I'll have to try that out. Um, a little sample of Confidence in a Cleanser from It Cosmetics. Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty sample. Um, shampoo and conditioner, which is really good sizes for samples. This is from, I want to say Bio Lace, but I think it's Bio Lot, Bio Lage. This is their Hydra Source Aloe Conditioner and Shampoo. And I haven't used this mascara in years. This is the Great Lash from Maybelline. Very black. I have not, again, I always remember the neon pink and green packaging, but I have not used this in years. I will definitely have to try this out for a video to see what I think of it now. And we have a Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff sample. Some MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. And last but definitely not least is a ColourPop Super Shock full-size shadow, which I think was really cool. It's kind of like a, almost looks like a cranberry shade and it's the shade Muse. So that's really cool to get in a bag like this just because I bought like a certain amount of products. And again, I bought the Philosophy set, the Tarte palette and the concealer and got the whole bag for free. But on top of that, they were having a four hour beauty break that day and I got this little four piece NARS set. I really got lucky this day. So it came with their Pour and Shine Control Primer. I swear I'm trying to be fast with this. I thought this haul would be really small, but, but it's just a pretty good sample size of that. And I've never tried NARS primer. Fun fact about me is I've barely tried anything from NARS. Everybody raves about their foundation and concealers and I still have never tried them. I really want to though. I just can never get past the price point with some of their products, but I do love some of their blushes that I have. The next one is their famous Laguna Bronzer. And I don't think I even have this, but it's a nice little sample size of it. So I will definitely have to try that out. It looks like a really pretty cool tone shade that will work great with my skin. There is a crayon matte lip pencil. It is the shade Dolce Vita, which is really pretty, almost close to the shade that I'm wearing right now. And the last thing is the larger than life long wear eyeliner which is just a standard black eyeliner. So yeah, that is what I got that day. So just a couple weeks ago, my lovely two-year-old, guys, I was so bummed. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know, but I did for my 100 days of makeup, I did four days, actually five days in a row of just Jaclyn Hill palettes. So I did 
For the days was using each palette from the vault and then the fifth day was using her regular Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Okay, so my very first day I used Bling Boss palette, which is the purple palette and I talked about in that video, I don't even know if it's uploaded yet, but I talked about how I had only used a couple of the shades for the very first look that I've done with that palette. And after that, I hadn't used it, which was weird because I love purple eyeshadows. And after using it, I really liked it, everything else. I kid you not, the next day after I filmed that look, I walked into my bedroom and found my son, my two-year-old, with this. Oh my god, I was so devastated. I was like, I love you so much, but you're breaking my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still have to take a picture of this and post it on Instagram because it is just so hilarious, but at the same time I wanted to cry. Thankfully, and I'm getting this all over myself, thankfully it's a $15 palette <laughs> and not like a limited edition palette, I would have died, but it could have even been like a $50 palette that I have, you know? So I'm very thankful that he picked that one out of the bunch. I think I just had it sitting out on my desk still because I had just filmed with it the day before. So that was my bad, but oh my God, still. It was all over our sheets, everything. It was everywhere. Oh my gosh, one of the worst messes, I swear. Like we have cream sheets too, so like they're just trashed, like, yeah. Anyways, so my main reason for jumping on was to snag a new Bling Boss palette, which is right here. Oh, it's so nice seeing a clean Bling Boss palette. <laughs> just a little comparison of what it's like having kids versus not having kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure you other moms out there can relate. And if your kids have gotten into your palettes or your makeup like this, let me know your funny stories down below because I would love to laugh and cry with you. Oh yeah, I have a new guy here so I can get rid of that one since it is all busted up. But since I was shopping, I decided to do a little bit more damage and I realized that the only Morphe palettes that I have are my Jaclyn Hill palettes. I have some of the other smaller Morphe palettes, I believe, that I wasn't like a huge fan of. I love the Jaclyn Hill full-size palette. I love the Vault Collection. But this other, I think it was one of the like nine pan eyeshadow palettes. And I still have it, but I never reach for it. And I never was a huge fan of it. I felt like it wasn't very pigmented and I was kind of bummed about it. So that has kind of stopped me from buying any other palettes from Morphe. I've had my eye on the James Charles palette. I think I'm going to end up caving and buying it, but I swear that sucker sells out so fast. But I was on there and I've had my eye on this palette for so long. I just didn't know how the formula was, but I've heard great things from a few different people. So I went ahead and purchased my very first big Morphe palette that was not the Jaclyn Hill palette. And here it is. It has like the hard case, kind of like their blush palettes that I love, but this also was the same palette type of the, I wanna say it was called the 9C Jewel palette or something like that, but I just wasn't a big fan of it. This right here, it does have the slip sheet with the names on it, which I kind of wish the names were like on the packaging. I don't know why Morphe doesn't do that, but this is the Boss Mood 35M palette. I've really wanted to get the 350 and 3502 palettes to try them out. They're stunning shades, but this one right here just screamed at me. It is so beautiful. It has such beautiful shades. Last fall, I wanted to get this palette so bad, but every single time I went to buy it, there was just something else that I wanted and I would just grab it instead. And those greens just really call out to me, but the purples, just everything about this is so beautiful. So I'm so excited to play with it. Just really hoping that I'm not going to be bummed by the formula like I was with the 9C palette. But uh, I just wish all the Morphe palettes were the same formula as the original Jaclyn Hill palette because that formula is so creamy and so amazing. But yeah. Long story short, I was going to do a little bit more damage, so I picked up this palette as well, which 
Morphe is pretty affordable. Okay, so after that, I also picked up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I just filmed a First Impressions Foundation Friday on this, so it'll be coming really soon. But after trying out the concealer, I definitely want to try the foundation. And so many beauty influencers have been raving about this. And since it's a drugstore and L'Oreal, I love L'Oreal foundations. I had to try it out, so I did pick that up. I also have a inspo look in mine, and I did not have a liquid white eyeliner, which I thought was so weird, but the inspo look that I have in mind, I needed white eyeliner. So yeah, I picked this up from NYX. Another thing that I think is really weird that I've never really picked up or tried before is the face powders from Benefit Cosmetics. It's so weird, and I have a little Hoola bronzer like this in my collection. I don't know if it's this size or not, but I don't have any of the full size face products from Benefit Cosmetics and I don't know why. Everybody raves about them and I've almost caved and bought the bigger palettes with like tons of blushes and of course the original Hoola bronzer and stuff like that. But what I really liked about these is that they were such travel friendly sizes, but also the fact that they were separate. I like my makeup organized a certain way, so I just thought these would be perfect for that and for me to be able to put like the blushes and the blush drawer, you know, and then the contour shades and the contour shades and not throw me off a little bit more because I have so many face palettes and they just take up so much room. But this comes with the Hoola, the Hoola Light, which I'm excited about because I do kind of feel like sometimes the Hoola is a little bit warm on me. So I am excited to try out the Hoola Light because I've never tried it. And then for blushes, it comes with the California, which I am super excited about. Dandelion, I'm really excited about. But it also comes with their Rocketeer and their Gold Rush blush. So yeah, all of these, I can't remember the price for sure, but it wasn't bad at all to have all of these. And they're pretty good sizes. I know I'm taking forever on this video, but you still get pretty good amount of product, especially for somebody like me that switches it up all the time. These would last me forever. So yeah, I wanted to pick up this set because I just been putting off for so long. So I'll have to start trying these out in some future videos to see what I think. So after that, the same day, I had seen that Flower Beauty launched these and I had to try them. I love Drew Barrymore, and I don't know why I haven't tried more Flower Beauty products. I definitely need to. I've only tried a few. This is their new Pop Fanatic Eye Pigment. And I wanted, all the colors are pretty crazy, but I wanted to definitely go out of my comfort zone a little bit with these for some makeup looks for the 100 Days of Makeup. So I went with the green, which I think is very different for me. And this is the shade Bang. It does look like it's like a cream. I'm going to do a whole first impressions for you guys, but I definitely wanted these for the 100 Days of Makeup because I feel like if I ever get like in a rut, I can pull out products like this and just do like a very pleasing makeup look with them because they're such like bam pop of colors. I also got Zing, which is the bright yellow. So I'm gonna try these two out and see what I think of them, but I would definitely go back and purchase some more because if these are good, the colors are bomb that they have in the range. It's They look so beautiful. So yeah, expect a video on these very soon. Okay, the last thing from Ulta that day was just this little thing right here, which I don't even think I'm gonna open. I might just put this aside for a giveaway or something. But this is just a Hello Beautiful little makeup set. I think it was just another like four hour ordeal or something where it was just added to your cart. But it does come with a full size NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. It comes with L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Primer, L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Cleanser, Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Washable Mascara, and Garnet Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water waterproof. So yeah, that little guy there, I'm just going to set aside. Okay, so after that, I jumped on Ulta a couple days later because they had shape tape marked down to, I think, $13, which is amazing. And my shape tape is actually getting low. So I did pick up another one. This is just the regular shape tape concealer from Tarte. I absolutely love it. I get the shade Fair. 
but I'm going to stick that in my drawer of backups because I'm almost out. But I also picked up this brush bath purifying brush cleaner from It Cosmetics to try out because washing my brushes is such a chore. I have been using this and this is life changing. I literally, I might actually show you guys real quick. So I just did this makeup look. This is one of my brushes that I used tonight that has should have like some pink on it and spray some of this. I'll just spray it real quick. Just like a couple sprays on it. And then you literally just rub it around on a tissue and it pretty much absorbs all of the makeup on the brush. I have not tried this with face brushes yet. I don't really know how that's going to work. I feel like I'm just going to have to deep clean my sponges and like my foundation brushes, but I definitely want to try it out with my like blush and highlight brushes and that kind of thing. But you can definitely see some of the product on there. But besides that, it's like completely clean. Like it's crazy how fast it cleans it too. It's just, it's such an easy spot clean. You literally lay it flat for, I think I said like one to two minutes and then you just put it away. It's clean and ready to go. So I definitely needed a product like this in my life. And so far I'm impressed. Last product I ordered. I'm super excited about this. This will be coming in a first impression soon too, but I'm so excited for Ashley Tisdale. I grew up loving Disney Channel and she was always somebody that I looked up to as a little girl. So I'm super excited for her. She came out with her Illuminate line through BH Cosmetics. And then last year she took over it and turned it into Illuminate Cosmetics and became the CEO of it. And this year she just released two different face palettes that are called Glow Up. And it might be hard to see the packaging, but it's super cute. I got the cool tone palette. There's the warm tone palette and a cool tone palette. Don't know how it's going to work with me yet, but after it slides out of the unicarton, it's right here. You just flip it open and those are the shades. So I do go for more cool tone with like my contour shades. So I did go with the purple contour, but there's a pink palette that looks just like this, but it has more warm tone shades. Yeah, that'll be coming in a video really soon. I'm super excited to try it out. Super excited that she's taking over and coming out with a makeup company. It's awesome. And I cannot wait to see what else she brings out. But yeah, that completes this little haul. I think I have everything or I've mentioned everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you've stuck through this whole video, sorry if it was super long and sorry that it's kind of like a haul slash review since I've tried most of these products. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your love and support and for watching and I will see you in my next video.